Hey, what's up guys? So here. welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the full checklist, full set of Sketchbook Chronicles, um, the one, the most recent one on the channel. And yeah, so it's gonna be 100 cards, and I'm gonna show you every single type, all the upgrades, and fusions at the end. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first type we have is uh, the magic type, and we have Derbtron. I'm not gonna say any of the stats or anything, because just make the video go on forever. Will the Wizard Peters, Monocle Man, Drafafint, and there's going to be like Danny cards and just you can see the difference from the different eras that we were making in this game. Not really eras, but like as time went on, how they got better and stuff. They're all just kind of mixed together, so no order in that regards. Rudy, Giant Muffin, Nerd Muffin, Beanie Baby, and then the upgrade for this type is Jorbo and Jorboof. Okay, for the flying type, we have Charles, Bone Dragon, Flying Derpatron, Gurp, Birdo, Flying Guy, Bad Dragon, <laughs> Bad Dragon, Gogol, Dragoslev, Nightmare Bat, which upgrades into Nerd Bat. So wow, no way. If you couldn't tell, um, Danny's helping. I forgot to say that, but we're just going to keep going. Um, no, I'm just using a really cool voice changer, guys. Um, next up, we got the storm type. So we have Flying Zock, Vlarg, Glorps, Gasmodo, Captain Regan, Seaburger, Ink Bros, Spashy, and uh, upgrades into King Spashy. And then we have Penguino Man, which upgrades into Pengu Mech 20. So for the ground type, we have Camerupter, Eager Beaver, Uniboy, Rocket Rock, Firestarter, Sensei Cactus, Snail Army, Cow, which upgrades into Armored Cow, and Double Jaw, which upgrades into Double Source Rex. Okay, so now we have the robot type. We have Angry Swish, um, one of the first cards in the game. Slinky Clyde. Crab. Battery Guy. Cuban Sin, the best card in the game, along with its his bro trigger. Just so overpowered, man. Bumper, Pumpkin Bot 2000, one of my favorite cards. Makeshift Robots, Rocket Man, which upgrades into Rocky Nukem, and that's it for the robot archetype. But now we're transitioning to the spell cards. So we have the first card in the game, gotta go fast, totally not a ripoff. Um, Zombie Toaster, Bottle of Ghoul, Cloud Castle, Techno Repeater. Heavy Mask, Tornado Transformation, Sky and Sea, Disguise, Bone Helmet, Magical One, Bad Dragon, um, Combine, Fly Away, Light Mask, The Trees Have Eyes, Mansplosion, the best art in the game, Cute Juice, Supercharge, Beefy Juice, Dentures, and uh, Daniel laughing in the background. Here we have the first archetype, the plumber archetype. Not the first to be made, but first one we're gonna read. So you got plumber man V1 and plumber man V2. V1's better. V2 is better. Uh, so yeah, plumber man V1, V2. Then you got fur plumber, which upgrades from plumber man. Then you got mini plumber, princess plumber, diddy plumber, donkey plumber, retro plumber. And Plumber Party. If you couldn't tell, some of those I made, some of those soaps made. Alright, so now for the second archetype, we have the first one that we made in the game, which is the Pumpkins. This was a Halloween archetype, and you can see that it's a Halloween card, because it, um, it, has, a, it has a pumpkin in the top right of the text box. So first up, we have Pumpkin Soldier, Pumpkin Sorcerer, Pumpkin Jockey, Pumpkin Ogre, and finally the support card, Page card is Pumpkin Patch. 
Okay, so third archetype, we have the Christmas archetype, which you can tell was Christmas arch archetype because it had a Christmas tree in the top right of the text box, just like the Halloween one, except with a Christmas tree. So first up, we got Lukewarm, the Snowman, Ginger Toast Man, Gearbox Train, Reagan the Reagan Face Reindeer, Santa Claus A, and then the fusion card for this archetype is um, Ginger Snipes, which was a fusion between Ginger Toast and... Ginger Toast Man and Lukewarm the Snowman. And then the page card for this archetype is O oh, Christmas Tree. And then finally for the last archetype is the Ghoul archetype, which is Jester Ghoul, Handy Ghoul, Sockham Ghoul, and then finally for the boss, Gobbler Ghoul. Wow, look, Bottle of Ghoul. For the fusion cards, we have Cow Swish, who's a fusion of Cow and Angry Swish. We have Flying Monocle Man Guy, who's a combination of a fusion of Monocle Man and Flying Guy. Beaver Upter, who's a fusion of Eager Beaver and Camera Upter. And Menacing Duck, who's a fusion of Fla of Gurp and Birdo. And Birdo. <laughs> All right, and now for the final hundredth card in the game. I think it's actually like 104 because we couldn't count, but it's 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 100 guys. Don't tell anybody. Um, is um, the boss card in the game, which would have came into the story of the game if uh, something bad didn't happen. But sadly, uh, we're not going to get into that. But for now, um, we have the boss of the game. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Ink Overlord. So this is a never-before-seen card. Doesn't even have a type because he's too cool. And he is... Uh, he has Ink Manipulation, which pay three ink and take control of one of your opponent's monsters on the field. When this card dies, send the surviving control cards back to their owner. So it can take your opponent's cards and um, you can take control of them and use them as your own. So that has been the checklist. Uh, say, say thanks for Danny for bringing him over. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for watching. So that's going to probably call... Um, bring Sketchbook Chronicles to an end for now. And yeah, see you guys later.